So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. We're down here at the wood yard this afternoon and we're gonna put some stone down and I'm gonna be using some geotextile. I'll tell you why I use it and where I like to use it at. It may be an option for you in some situations.
right, this is by no means completed. And normally, I wouldn't work down here in these kind of conditions. It's pretty wet and sloppy. Uh, we have had a lot of rain the last couple days. But quite frankly, I'm running out of time. It's the end of November. The weather's not going to get much better. And I wanted to get all this stoned in here. This area right here, I use the Gia Textile. I'm not using it underneath the pavilion. I'll tell you why in just a minute. But over here, uh, we had quite a bit of fill in here. It's decent material. I put some good shale in here. But I wanted to use that Gia Textile because this rock will sink down into that uh, shale. And what I like to use, well, what you have to use for this application is a woven Gia Textile. You can buy it both woven and non-woven. The woven is much stronger, much more durable. Now, water will penetrate both, although through this, very, very slowly. The water will most likely run off of it. Uh, Non-woven Gia Textile, it'll go through much faster, and it's not as strong as the woven. This right here was a roll... I think it's 12 or 12 and a half feet long, or wide, I should say, and 430 feet long. Cost me about $350, maybe $375. Uh, worth every penny, especially in this application right here. Now, I'm not using it underneath the pavilion, uh, and the reason is this. We're going to pour concrete in here in the spring, and by that time, That'll all be filled up with wood chips and sawdust and a kind of a big mess. It'll all be graded up again and put some 2B limestone down before we pour the concrete. So that's why I'm not using it over here, but I am using it over here. And as you can tell, it's actually tightening up pretty good already. I'll end up putting some 2A limestone on this uh, when it's all done. But what you don't want to do is have a thin layer of stone down on here and back drag it because it will pull that material up and you'll have kind of a mess. So what I like to do is try to sprinkle the stone on as smoothly and evenly as possible and then just track it in with the machine. And I actually have it pretty decent shape right now. It needs just a little bit more. I am going to need some more rock down here, but uh, things are coming along. I don't know if you can tell from this angle or not, but the grade inside the building, it's going to be about... Uh, six inches higher than the other side there. I'm trying to get water to go away from it on both sides. Uh, personally, right now, I'd like to see it just freeze up to about uh, the end of March and then warm up to about 60. I don't think that'll happen. But yeah, it's coming along. But right now, I need to head up to the house. I've been gone all day today. I just got down here about an hour ago and I wanted to get as much done as I can, but Melissa and I are going to the city tonight, which I'm not a big fan of doing. Matter of fact, I don't like doing it at all, uh, but we are going to a hockey game, and that's kind of a fun time. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. All right, we're headed to the hockey game. You ready? I'm excited, yeah. You know I'm not a big fan of going to the city. Yeah, but if we go now while it's daylight, you'll be okay. All right, let's go. All right. So we got back from the hockey game last night and uh, I mentioned before, I don't really like going to the city, but I would highly recommend 
uh, if you have a chance to go to a hockey game, it's a lot of fun. It yeah. really is. And a uh, couple things I noticed when you're there, the ice, the whole arena looks smaller than it does on TV. And the guys playing hockey look bigger than they do on TV. True. I don't yeah. know why, but there's some big guys. But it's a uh, very fast pace. And uh, it's an exciting sport. But in Pittsburgh, at the paint can, the PPG uh, yeah, arena. Yeah, PPG arena. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's got a nice restaurant in it, and all their concession has good food. So yeah. you have that, too. Yeah, so we had a nice dinner. Got to watch the Penguins. They actually lost last yeah. night. But uh, it was a good time, and like I said, I would... Uh, I'd recommend it. Like, I would, too. I'm not big into going to uh, the Steelers games. I haven't been to one in probably 20 years. Uh, I've been to one in my entire life. And the other thing about the hockey, it is so fast. Yeah. I mean, it's fast on TV, but in person, it is unbelievable oh, yeah. how good those guys are and how quick they are. But and, even the cameramen yeah. that run those cameras, we saw two guys running cameras, and the cameras were like high-tech. Mike Morgan was like, ooh. Pretty nice camera. you imagine that? Yeah, I but, told her uh, we could mount one up here. She could, like, I could totally film the sawmill down yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. Those things were nice. But, yeah, they are on top of it. But I was doing video with my phone, and I'm like, oh, look, you know, what's going on? And Mike's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm videoing the game. He's like, they're down there. I'm like, oh. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> you really got you to you stay on your toes. Yeah, you really do. Yeah, for sure. But uh, that's about it. It's windy here. Uh, we had a bunch of rain this morning. Uh, Winter's coming tonight. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think. But I think that's about it for today's video. Appreciate y'all being here. Thanks. And I will, we will catch you on the next one.